<laughs> that was a really cool game to be a part of at the end. Um, a number of the players absolutely emptied the tank. And uh, here in the locker room, you could see guys who were gassed and they were also pissed, you know, because they really uh, went for it. And that's honestly, as the coach, you know, what you're looking for. We came down here to say, could we go get better? You know, we had two opportunities to come do that at the practice and at the game. And I think we absolutely did that. It's not going to show that, you know, on the win column today, but you do learn and you get better in these moments. And knowing that at, as the games come down to the end, there's value in that. And so I love the guys, how tough they are, um, how hard they played for one another. And uh, like I said, the end was an absolute blast just to be on the sideline and putting guys in different spots who hadn't been there. And, um, you know, Chig inside to nickel, white side at safety, and McCaffrey back pump returning, just all the things that you wanted to see guys in their most competitive element. Um, that's what tonight was. So, um, you know, it was just, you know, really good four days for us to find out a lot about our team. And uh, hats off to Mike and their, their team for uh, being great hosts at the practice and then uh, into the game. We knew it was going to be a good fight, and it was. So with all that said, I'm glad to open it up to you guys and start off with some questions. You talked about in our production meeting about these guys that are trying to get their name called. Yes. Yeah, what I saw uh, defensively, I, I really felt the running and the hitting, you know, coming to life. Um, some good third down stops, a stop after a turnover. So I felt that part, you know, more than anything defensively of coming to life. Um, on the offensive side, I thought, what a cool moment for uh, Trace to come, you know, after uh, no practice. You know, <laughs> I said, keep that to yourself that you can play without practicing. But to really come in and battle and be right in it at the end. And so it was fun going through it. Hey, we're in four downs. We're going for two. And just so we had a really clear vision of what it was going to look like. Um, I want us to feel really comfortable in those moments. You've heard us talk about situations a lot. And obviously, um, the more we practice them, the better we're going to get at those things. I want it to feel normal for us to be in those spots. Yes. Double secret probation. He is on. All right. And, uh, but no, for him, um, I thought he had another really good outing, honestly. Um, I don't know passing wise what it was, but um, the accuracy, the decision making of where to go, um, he really is a unique competitor. And uh, so, but yes, he was uh, definitely in trouble again with the, with the head coach. That's exactly right. So um, he does not have a 0.0. I would absolutely assure you of that. But um, yeah, I don't, did that come out on the TV that I was telling him to slide or get down? Is that okay? There we go. No, I think that's how it happened. I think uh, early on we had a double move called to block up. Um, sometimes they're there on the shot, sometimes they're not, depending on what the coverage is. Um, They've got a good aggressive defense on some blitzes and stuff too, so that could you know be a factor in sometimes when you're getting a zero blitz or all out, you want to get the ball out quickly. So it was probably more a product of what the defense was doing and how to get rid of the ball and move it that way. Where are you guys at with the kicking situation? I'd say certainly not completed, and uh, so for us, you know, hitting it at two two for four, I believe, is what we came out for. Um, we got work to do. We got practice next week, and we'll see where that takes us. But uh, you know, I was pleased for C. Riley come back. You know, he had an early miss and say, man, we're going to get a lot more chances here in this game to go for it. And so see a player come back in that spot. Uh, when you go through the, you know, verse times, like, hey, all right, clear the mechanism. Let's go back into it. And you know the process and what to do. So that's basically all I'll explain to him. Say, man, get right back to it. Because he had a fantastic day Thursday. And uh, I think you guys were there who were at practice saw, I think it was six for six and maybe three of them over 50. So I think in pregame hit, you know, over 60 yards today. And so he was really ready. And so those are hard when you don't nail the performances when you really feel ready. And uh, so we got work to do there. Coach, you guys have talked about the emphasis on takeaways of the season. It's got your first one of the preseason today. Are you feeling better about that process kind of bearing fruit? Or that I'm feeling better. Yes, Dave. That's it. I'm sorry. I answered too quickly. But uh, we've got a lot of work to do in that spot uh, just to make it part of what we do. And so like most things, um, you know, habits aren't created in, you know, one game or one preseason game or one time. It's over and over of us doing it. And 
the tackling, the takeaways, breaking tackles, making explosive plays, those are just kind of pillars of our program and how we're going to get down. So, um, yeah, that's going to be an emphasis from here all the way through. The thing I was pleased about tonight was to really see I felt speed, I felt tackling, I felt hitting, I felt you know aggressive style of play, and that's what I want you and our fans, everybody who watched this play, say, man, these guys absolutely bring it. Well, I'd say, um, you know, I saw B-Rob early. I thought he ran heavy, you know, to go and strong. I don't know how many, wasn't a lot of carries, but I have a very good sense for what he is. And he's hard to tackle, you know, so for the other players on their side. As it goes into third and fourth running back and, and on down, you really are trying to find a couple of different styles of players. Uh, and so I thought Wiley had some ones to go. We're trying to find out guys on special teams. Uh, I thought Jeremy's been, you know, consistent in doing what we're doing. So. The next, you know, couple weeks we'll bring that out, and that's what games like this and the special teams moments are for. Uh, but you know, as far as like a completion for it, we're not there yet. How important is it for you? Some coaches might just not even talk to a guy that's had an error. Right? You had Kaz with a fumble, and we saw you on the broadcast. You were right there, just dribbled a little bit. Same thing with Wiley. How important is that for you to make sure that they know that you have that? Kind of I think belief, you know is a big deal for a player. And uh, sometimes not talking to somebody can show you don't have belief. And by ignoring somebody or just not showing them that. And so I think the best of the best players can have a lot of confidence and are still going to have some times where it fails and doesn't go good. And so in those moments, um, you want to remind them of things, you know, this is how to create it and correct it. Because if you keep hanging on to that and to the next play or the next down, it could certainly affect you. So um, it was just really about resetting and making sure, hey, this is the next moment, the next time, and, and go for it. But uh, at the end, um, you know, that those are the ones that keep you up at night, you know, as a ball player and as a coach. And we want to make sure we can get them corrected and find out why, you know, a missed kick happened or my approach too close to the ball or how did it get knocked out. And um, sometimes you got to give the credit to the other guys. I didn't see the one exactly on Kaz yet, but uh, I know the competitors, right? Can you talk a little bit about the decision from about finally that second, third guy? Did anybody stand out in today? Yeah, I know that's a narrative in here, but it's not as much with me. And so I wanted to be clear on that. I'm glad that you asked it because we're trying to feature all the things that players can do. And it's you know easier because Terry's Terry and clear cut to where it goes. And a number of the other guys have really bought some nice attributes to the team. Like I love Jahan taking deep routes and in breakers, and I think you saw that in practice on the other day. And um, I felt Diami getting on top of people and being strong. I've seen, you know, Oz working the slot, aggressive hand. So um, by that position and finding what players can do, that's our job to put them into that spot. But I don't see it as it, one person has to be into this space. I just want the guys to be absolutely flying and at their best and competing and playing with urgency. It's, it's not about a number at a position. It's really about just the urgency, competitiveness, contested catches, route running, you know, getting away from press coverage, beating man to man. Those are all the things that I look for. But it doesn't have to be a one, a two, a three. Um, it just has to be really consistent. And I like the group. They're fighting hard. I couldn't think of a better guy to work with than Bobby um, to help develop them. So um, we're going to keep finding the things that they can do and then try to hopefully feature them in those best ways. I think that was a big step. And uh, when you put that much work in, it's nice to be rewarded for that. He's really put in a lot of work with Ryan and with Daryl to, to get that part of his game right. And uh, going into the game, we had some injuries at linebacker. And so would we put him back down there? I said, I really want to see him down on the line of scrimmage again. You know, he's getting close to what we want to see. Even before the sack, he did a nice job on the keeper that was a rollout, and you just felt his speed. And so um, it was exciting to see all the, the players get that excited for him. You can generally see when the sideline erupts for somebody what their teammates think about him. And I think they're recognizing how hard Jamin's putting in the work for it. So it was, it was good to see him rewarded for that. Ooh, I'll allow a couple more, so I'm good. I just overruled him. How about that? <laughs> Nope, I wouldn't read it yet. Um, what I would read is that it was awesome. I thought they put a couple that were on the ground. That was some good kicks. And I think that could be some of the things, if some kickers are capable of that, it makes it a tough return because you can actually take off when the ball hits the ground 
as opposed to waiting. So there's some strategy that go through that. But uh, no, we're, we're still digging for it. And um, I have lots of confidence in Jamison and his return on the punt side. So getting some other guys from work, you saw Kaz and Luke and some others back there. So that was a part of it. Uh, we'll talk through all the stuff uh, Monday. You know, when we get back, um, we got a lot of players, 90 of them. So you know, I'm not gonna say one will play and 98 won't or something like that. So, uh, but it'd be an awesome topic for for Monday. Good. Anybody else? I'll allow one more. This uh, is uh, Sean. Uh, broadcast said sometimes he feels like people jump on the negative plays with him. Have you talked with him about that at all? And yes. How he is the kind of face looking forward. I have. I think, you know, there's a narrative that can happen for any ball player outside the building versus inside the building. And I wanted to make sure he was aware of the decisions that we'll make, Adam and I, are ones that come from inside the building, not from outside. And I love the way he's competing at practice. I thought he had a really physical play down the first part of the red zone um, in the practice. And so I illustrated that um, to him on uh, Thursday night, you know, to say, I know he's been under the fire a little bit, but competitive plays like that go a long way. And so that's where I was at. All right, you guys have a safe trip back. It's okay.